DraftSite 2017 provides additional capability to edit polylines including taper, reverse, add vertex at midpoint, and create arc. To begin, let's look at taper. The taper function allows you to change a polyline so it has a different start and finishing width. On the Home tab, I'll go to the Modify panel and click on the Edit Polyline icon. I'll select the polyline I want to edit and then enter T for the taper function. I am prompted for the start width. I'll use 10, and for an end width, I'll use 2. You'll see the polyline change to reflect its new taper. I'll hit Enter to close the command. Next is Reverse. Simply put, this command reverses the start and finish points of any polyline. I'll reverse this polyline with the arrow line type assigned to it. To use this command, I'll select Edit Polyline from the panel. Select the polyline I want to edit and type R for reverse at the command window. You'll notice the effect it has on the arrows. Because the start and finish points have reversed, the arrows have also been reversed. I'll hit Enter to close the command. Our third feature is Add Vertex to Midpoint. A single polyline, not joined to another, has two vertices, a start and a finish. The Add Vertex to Midpoint command adds a third vertex to the midpoint. To do this, I'll select the Edit Polyline command. Select the polyline I want to edit. Enter E for Edit Vertex at the command window and the V for Add Vertex to Midpoint. I'll hit Enter to close the command. You may not notice anything at first, but if I click on the polyline, you will see an extra grip at the midpoint. Our final feature is convert to arc slash convert to line. This command converts the next polyline segment to an arc if it is a linear segment or to a line if it's a curved segment. Again, I'll start the edit polyline command, select the polyline I want to edit, type E for edit vertex, then type A to convert a line to an arc. Don't forget to close the command. These are just four of the new features added to the Edit Polyline command in DraftSite 2017 that you'll find useful when creating your drawing. To learn more about DraftSite and how to get a free 30-day trial of DraftSite Professional, visit draftsite.com professional.